Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. Today, we're at the Iwami Ginzan Silver Mine in Japan. The Iwami Ginzan Silver Mine is located in Western Japan, and it was Japan's largest silver mine. It operated for over 400 years, right through until 1923. The World Heritage Site here covers both the tunnels and shafts of the mine itself, but also the buildings of the town built nearby to service it. So let's have a closer look. For me, the highlight here is the still existing mine tunnel. Although kilometers worth of tunnels were dug underneath the mountain, you can still explore a few hundred meters or so. And it's really atmospheric to just wander through the old shafts and see the various tunnels and bores digging off in random directions. In places, you can also see chisel marks in the stone on the walls, because of course, most of the mine was dug by hand, long before explosives were used in mining. Back up outside of the mine itself, the town is quite lovely. It sits in a low forested valley surrounded by hills and it's just a really pleasant spot. Many of the buildings on the site date back to the mine's heyday, and a lot of the important buildings from this era still remain. You can see the chief magistrate's office, houses of important families, the ruins of a refinery, and the remains of a castle built to protect the mine. There's of course also the important shrines where locals prayed for the miners to stay safe in their dangerous work. And sadly, the graveyards for the miners who didn't make it home. But all up, it's a beautiful site and we had a fantastic time. I've always found industrial heritage sites interesting in an unusual way, and Iwami Ginzan was no exception. <laughs>